Welcome everyone, it is the Black Knight, and as you are almost certainly aware, Bethesda has announced a new game, a new Fallout game, Fallout 76. Am I excited? Oh, you bet I'm excited! Now, like everybody else, I'm hoping that Fallout 76 is going to be a single player game in the same vein as Fallout New Vegas. Same engine as for different storyline. And the concept that it's a game that's set 25 years after the war, that's just mind blowing. And can you imagine the possibilities? The technology that hadn't been lost yet. The technology that hasn't been invented yet. This is the same year that Richard Gray took his bath in FEV and it's a year before he started dipping other people into it to turn them into super mutants. Yes, some are concerned about a fallout without green skins, but I for one find it tantalizing. I also fully realize that this is probably going to be a different kind of game. It's probably not going to be what I'm hoping for. They're probably doing something new and different here. Uh, lots of rumors abound about multiplayer, and I understand people's concerns about multiplayer. Nobody knows better than I the, uh, the risks of uh, a public lobby. I take it this isn't a social call. No problem. I'll scramble the signal for one minute. Haters gotta hate, trolls gotta troll, the whole nine yards. If they decide to make this game like PUBG and Fortnite had a radioactive baby together, well then, you know, that won't be optimal, but it's still a new Fallout game, and I think I would definitely give it a shot. If, on the other hand, you can, say, do a solo session, build up a massive sort of, you know, settlement, and then, you know, put up all your defenses and see how well it holds up against, you know, a multitude of trolls, that, that could be interesting. Obviously, lots more is going to be revealed at E3 on June 10th, I want to say, so we're, we're nine days away as far as the time of this recording. But I did want to get a couple theories about the game out there that haven't been put out yet that I've seen. I've been watching a lot of videos on the topic. That's why I'm trying not to cover the same, the same stuff over and over again that everybody else is going on about too much. One relatively minor point is Vault 76 was supposed to open after 20 years of operation, which I interpret as being 20 years after a nuclear war. So that means that the game itself is set 25 years after the nuclear war and five years after the vault was supposed to open. Some people are using the 2076 date as the start date for the 20 years. I don't think so. I don't think people were sealed in the vault in 2076 just in case there was a war. I think that that 20 year timer probably started on, uh, on uh, October 23rd, 2077. The next thing I'm going to theorize, it's a little bit different than everybody else, and it may be way off, is that the vault opened on time, that the vault opened in, uh, in 2097, and that this is five years later, and what you're seeing in these scenes is an abandoned vault. Now, I know what people are thinking. If you look at the party scene, the balloons are still inflated, they're still floating, and everybody knows you don't get, you know, a week and a half out of a helium balloon before it, it falls down and it's all wilted and all that kind of stuff because helium tends to bleed through just about everything. But this is the Fallout universe where they have 200 year old food that's still good so I'm going to give them the, uh, the benefit of the doubt and say that they may have really really good balloons. Or it could just be an oversight. One of those two things I think is a real possibility. Which brings me to my second theory is that the person that you see, the character that you see donning the Vault 76 suit and putting on the Pip-Boy is not a Vault Dweller. Yes, I think this is a case of someone coming upon the abandoned Vault five years after it has been opened and all the people have gone off to create civilization once again, and he's just kind of trying to make his way for himself. Like, what would you do? You've been wearing the same clothes for three years. They're muddy, they're sweaty, you smell bad. Hey, here's a place that maybe you can take a shower and get some fresh duds. You're not gonna care if they're blue and have a 76 on the back. You're gonna put them on. Stray pit boy hanging around, put that on. Some stray weapons, let's get that going. One thing I am curious about is what is the wire that's running down the back of the, the Vault 76 vault suit? I mean, this is, you know, from a time where it would have been contemporary with the, the Vault 13 suits that you see from Fallout 1. Well, I mean, Fallout 1 didn't have any resolution, but you do get a Fallout 13 suit in New Vegas if you have the right pack, 
and that doesn't have any wires running along. What would that? What is the purpose of that? And that that's something that I find very interesting. Now, one thing I would like to address is there appears to be now appears to be some anxiety amongst the Fallout fandom. It's like they're expecting Todd Howard to come out at E3 and introduce a production team, and out onto the stage walks none other than Rian Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy, who produce a game clip of the main character drinking green milk from the master's boob. And I'm not saying that won't happen, because there's a lot of things I would have said wouldn't happen that happened. But if there's one thing that Bethesda has been pretty good at, not perfect, nobody's perfect, but pretty good at, is they are very conscious of the fact that uh, the fandom is a very lore-oriented fandom. Fallout 4 got a lot of criticism, but I do believe that they paid a tremendous amount of attention to the lore and making sure that the lore fit in with what had gone before. And I don't expect them to do anything different with Fallout 76. I mean, come on, who didn't want to see a fully rendered three-dimensional Pip-Boy 2000? I mean, that's just gorgeous. Yes, people are already complaining that the old one didn't have a speaker. Dude, the graphics limitations, the graphics limitations. This is, this is cool. So to the fandom, I would say, let's see what they give us. I wouldn't count on it being like Fallout New Vegas. I wouldn't count it being another fully fleshed out single player game. I mean, don't build yourself up that high. If it happens, that way you'll just be like, hoo, hoo, hoo. but you know, let's see what they give us. It could be something cool. It could be something different, something that's enjoyable. And, you know, if, if it's not something that you're going to enjoy or it's not something that's really your cup of tea, well, we still have lots of Fallouts to play. And Fallout 5 is still out there someplace. And, hey, even Fallout 3 Remastered might be still out there someplace. So there, so there are still things to look forward to. And on that note, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Oh, I knew I knew I was going to be sweating while I was wearing this, but I didn't realize I would... It would be that much. That that's a lot. That's a lot of sweat. It's it's really warm wearing this.